Good afternoon. Aberdeenshire MSP Gillian Martin's name has been removed from the list of the Scottish Parliament's new ministers following a row over language she used about transgender students in a blog. Opposition parties have been set to vote against her appointment as further education minister. Ms Martin has apologised for the 2007 post, which she described as inappropriate and offensive. The First Minister knew about these comments and yet still proposed to put Gillian Martin in charge of further and higher education. And in the end, this is not just about the judgment of Gillian Martin, First Minister, this is about your judgment, isn't it? I have to say that this content, however uh, ill-advised it, it may be, uh, does not reflect uh, the views of the person that I know uh, in Gillian Martin. However, the content does merit uh, my further consideration and I will therefore not ask Parliament to approve this appointment until I've had the chance uh, to reflect further. Scottish airline Logan Air has reported a pre-tax loss of nearly £9 million. The operator has blamed the end of its franchise agreement with rival Flybe. Both were competing directly on a number of routes, including five in the Highlands and Islands. Passenger numbers were up by more than 6%. A search has been launched for a person reported missing from a ferry in the North Sea. Aberdeen Lifeboat was alerted around 10 o'clock this morning. A rescue helicopter has also been searching the area. The Northlink ferry was sailing overnight to Shetland. Police Scotland say they'll need around £5 million and 5,000 officers to police a visit from US President Donald Trump. Mr Trump is expected to arrive in the UK on the 12th of July, although a trip to Scotland has not yet been confirmed. Police say they'll need time to prepare for any demonstrations or protests. And finally, an overweight hedgehog, which is thought to be one of the biggest in the world, has been put on a strict diet. Arbuckle weighs five pounds, around four times the size of a normal hedgehog. After overeating during the winter, he's now been handed in to a rescue centre near Ellen, where he's undergoing a new exercise regime. Now here's Sean with a look at the weather. Sponsors STV Weather. A very good afternoon to all that. Scorcher continues. Quite a few June temperature records fell yesterday and today. It'll be very similar. Temperatures exceeding 31 degrees in a few spots. So intense heat once again, intense UV levels, some hard and low cloud right down the Angus Aberdeenshire coastal, keeping the temperatures down here somewhat rather light yesterday. Also cloud moving southwards across Shetland into Orkney later on the north and northeast of the mainland around Lewis and Harris. Misty low cloud here. Temperatures are staying warm across central and western areas tonight. Lots of sunshine in central and western parts tomorrow. More cloud in the northeast and also a bit cooler too. Bye bye. Two new sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Andrea will be here at six with a roundup of today's news and sport. Until then, from everyone here, have a very good afternoon. Goodbye.